What's up, YouTube? And for all my slashes out there, if you came to this video to figure out how to get your Hall of Fame badges, man, you came to the right video, man. I have four of the five badges of a slasher Hall of Fame. The only one I'm missing is Teardrop, as you see on the screen. And I'm about to go ahead and get into it to show y'all. Now, it changes from getting the badge from bronze to gold. It changes just from getting it in the first place. Like, getting posterizer on to uh, just getting post rise in the first place is not the same as getting it to Hall of Fame it's totally different so getting it bronze you need to you need to get at least 15 attempted contact dunks you need 15 attempted or successful contact dunks now what I, what I mean by attempted is those animations where your player goes up like he's about to dunk and he just throws the ball out of bounds. That's basically how it is. You need to get 15 of those. If you can get 15 of those, you should have it. If not, then you just need to go and get some more post actual contact dunks and then you should get it. Um let's see. That's the bronze version. Now the Hall of Fame version, you just need post arrival to come up at least 25 to 30 more times. And not even 25 times, probably just 20 more times. You need to, you need to show you need for it to show up in the top right corner of your screen where it shows all your stats. You need to show up 20 times right there. Um, let's see. Live CD finisher. Since you already see it on the screen. Live CD finisher. To get it in the first place, you need to finish 15 to 20 oops, I think. Yeah, 15 to 20 oops. Self oops do count. So if you're on a fast break, you try and get live CD finisher. Please throw a self oop if you want to really want to get it. Now, for the Hall of Fame version, you just need to show up, which is basically finish because <laughs> which it basically is finished about 20 more oops basically so it's basically the bronze version is about 20 Hall of Fame is 40 I would basically say um one man fast break in order to get it I think you need to score from 100 in the range of 100 to 200 points on a fast break okay after that you just need one man fast break to come up at least 75 times I would say Probably more than 75, 75 to 150 is the range. I would say, I would say, you need to come up after you get the gold. Okay. Now nah, that was okay. Willingness finisher. Willingness finisher to get it, you need to attempt 75 contact layups. You don't have to make them. They can be miss or make. They both count. You just need to attempt 75 contact layups after you get it to gold in order to get the Hall of Fame. You need to you need for it to show up in the top right corner. About another mm, double that. I would say double that. 75 to 150 more times. So that's Hall of Fame Lucas Finisher. Now I haven't got Teardropper yet, but I know the bronze version of Teardropper is probably about 20 floaters. And I think the Hall of Fame version is probably about 40, 50, maybe 60. I may be wrong about the bronze version because I, I because honestly, I played my career like the first seven games, and I was doing a lot of floaters in the first seven games. So <laughs> I don't tell how many how many uh, you need. It's probably about 30, 40. I really don't know the stats. Okay. But that that should that should clear everything. That way I, that way I covered everybody that wasn't a slasher that came here. I covered my slashers. <laughs> so. Hopefully this helps you people who came to this video that just need the badge in general, that just want the badge in general. So I hope that helps y'all. Now let me talk about this Slasher Pro. Now in order to get the grand badge for any archetype, you need to set off all five of your upgradable badges consecutively. Like, I don't know like what it mean by like you have to set them all off, but that's what, that's why I've been hearing around the 2K community, you have to set them all off. Like in a game or in a, in a certain period of time, you just need to set all five of those badges off. So if you're a slasher, you want to keep going to the paint, getting contact, getting layups, getting dunks, finishing alley oops, getting tear drop, just finishing around the rim in general. And you should get the get the slasher pro. Now, if you're watching this video, you got slasher pro. Please, my PSN is jfresh24 j a y y underscore f r e s s h. 24 please if you have slasher pro or you end up getting it please message me on PSN and tell me how you got it if I don't have it by then because as soon as I get it I'm posting the video so if you don't see a video up on my channel saying slasher pro how to get it and you have it please let a brother know 
because <laughs> I need that badge to complete this dude so I can go ahead and start getting his overall up. <laughs> So that's that's why I've been here ahead to get the slasher pro. Like I said, I hope this video helps y'all. And earlier in the video, when the score was 40 to 7, Houston had 7, Denver had 40. You saw me get Hall of Fame, God City Finisher. The badge actually does show up in game. Matter of fact, all every badge you get shows up in game. So that confirms I really do have God City Finisher. Just in case for y'all people spectating, oh, he don't got it. <laughs> But like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is just an information video I, ha I had to put out. I had to. For all my slashes, man, y'all better be on your grind after you see this video. Because I, I want I want to see more people out here being slashers. Because slashers are slept on. I have seen a couple of slashers. But I need to see more. <laughs> I've seen a lot of point fours. I'm seeing a lot of sharpshooters. I haven't really seen too many glass cleaners. Surprisingly, I have not seen a good, uh, too many glass cleaning small forwards. Um, so yeah, I, I have seen about four or five slashes since I've loaded up since I've got 2K17. Come on, but th th this should help y'all. This should help y'all. So you know what I'm saying? A after y'all see this video, let me know if this helped or not. I want to make sure this helps y'all. I really do because I, I want to see how the Hall of Fame badges work for y'all and everything. Cause I really want to see. I'm just not the only person out here getting crazy ass posterized whenever I hit that Hall of Fame posterizer. I mean, my goodness, <laughs> it's unbelievable. I'm gonna have gameplay showing off Hall of Fame posterizer, Hall of Fame one man fast break, everything. I mean, it's crazy. But I'm gonna keep saying this a hundred times. I hope this video helped y'all. <laughs> I hope it helps y'all. And I hope y'all get y'all badges, man. Stay on that grind. See y'all next time.